Cut the grass wrong? Sorry, won't happen again. For context, my dad is picky about his grass. He mows it twice per week. And it takes about 4 hours each time. This story takes place about a decade after I moved out and had a house of my own. One day my dad was working and I had a few weeks off from work. So I had some free time. His grass looked to me like it was a length that he'd want to cut it at. So I took it upon myself to help him out and cut it. No issues. Cut the grass. Cleaned the tractor. And put everything away. When he got home from work he called me. And he was pissed. Apparently his grass cutting days were Wednesday and Saturday. And I just mowed on a Tuesday. He said that it'll be messed up that weekend because now he has to wait until Saturday to cut it. Again and it'll be too high by then and there's going to be clumps in the yard. I can't remember all the details but he went off on me for a while. I so I apologized for helping. And said that it'll never happen again. And it hasn't. It's been about 10 years since that happened. And I haven't touched a blade of grass at his house since. Ah yes. Because grass totally grows the exact same amount every day and has nothing to do with the weather. Or how much water it gets or anything. I was a psalm many years ago and would cut the grass so my husband didn't have to on the weekend. That way we got to spend more family time together. First time I did it it wasn't pretty or in patterns or anything. I called him and said I cut the grass but it ain't pretty. He asked, is it shorter? After I said yes. He said, it's great. Thank you. It could be me just picking nits. But it sounds like your dad actually enjoyed mowing the grass if he was on a set schedule and had to have it done a certain way. Or at the very least he may not be enjoying the actual act of mowing but enjoyed the results of his labor. In which case, you really weren't maliciously complying with anything. Just complying. Ha 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 ha. My husband used to cut the grass until the kids were old enough. They did nice straight lines. After heart trouble and kids moving out. I took over consider it great exercise. I do not cut nice straight lines. I make it a tad art deco. Husband has given up saying anything. Boys just shake their heads. Meh. It gets done and looks fine. And it amuses me so. Tuesday to Saturday is four days just like to Saturday to Wednesday. Face with rolling eyes your dad's counting sucks. Never ever ever take the grass trimming experience from a dad that didn't ask for it. What are you? A war criminal? And I cannot stress enough how important this rule of life is. You might as well have just changed his thermostat. Crying out loud, what's wrong with you? Love this. Red heart. I did the same thing with my sister. She has OCD and I was trying to help her clean house but she would do it all completely over even. Going as far as rewashing the dishes. I apologized and said I it wouldn't happen again. The last week I stayed she wanted me to clean and I said nope I don't clean right and I will not do it again. Been 40 plus years now and I never have done it again. It is a well-known fact that no good deed goes unpunished. Who the hell mows their lawn twice a week? When it's nice in MN and we have enough rain etc we mow twice a month. Talk about a waste of resources and time. I'd gift your dad a lawn of native grasses and wildflowers that never needs to be mowed. You think you're being malicious but this isn't malicious compliance. He could not have been more clear that that's exactly what he wanted you to do. And just because you think that he'd be better off accepting your help doesn't mean that he wants it. Respect his boundaries and ask first next time. Sounds about right. Reminds me of the efficiency expert joke, if inverted. I'm over people and their ridiculous devotion to grass. More natural. Native landscaping is my preference. 
You're welcome for saving you the time and trouble. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Sounds like he had an obsessive disorder. No good deed goes unpunished, Russian proverb. My dad was the same way. It ended up killing him, cancer at 58. Sounds like the only thing left keeping him alive is that long. As if he dies nobody will keep it trimmed like he wants it. Some people are not sane about grass. I don't live in a city. So I probably mow my lawn a little more than once a month. I let the violets grow, bloom, and die back before the first mowing and then mow enough that nothing annoying can take hold. Like poison ivy, ragweed, or out-of-place trees. Some people are massive antelon, and I can see their point. But it is nice to have an area of grass where a family can spend time if feasible. I've never watered the lawn, and rarely use fertilizer or weed killer. If I had to do that, I'd consider an alternate approach. Does the man get three-time weekly monsoons? Grass doesn't grow that quickly in a week let alone one day. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.